Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I talk a lot about Salesforce. Today we're going to be going over the process of mapping custom fields or just fields in general to to the other objects within the lead conversion process. So this is actually going to be one of like an end-to-end -end real world Salesforce project. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating the custom field on both the lead and then the end object, which is going to be the contact. And then we're going to map it and then we're going to test it. So hopefully this shouldn't take too long. But let's go ahead and go over our scenario. So, so our company has decided that it does really well when we can connect with the leads based upon their football teams or their college football teams and who they root for. So what we want to do is that we want to have that information on the lead where they went to college or their alma mater, and then also map that to the contact after they are converted. So this is a little bit of a silly example, but let's go ahead and jump into the schema builder and create those few fields. So I went to the cog. Now I'm going to go to the schema builder. This is just an easy way because I'm going to be creating a field on two separate objects. So I'm going to clear all and then look for lead. And then go to contact, select that as well. And then auto layout, so then they're right next to each other. All right, so we have contact and we have lead. Now I'm gonna go over to elements and I am going to say a text field is a great one. We don't need too much information and a text field is somewhat limited, but it is going to be okay. So I'm going to have this be on the moderate. It's a little bit limited in the length. That is A-OK -okay because this is not going to be a very long text field. I can't really think of too many universities whose names are extremely, extremely long. So I'm just having the help text be the name of the university that they went to. I'm thinking this is 255. I could be wrong. I'm going to say that this does not need to be required. It's not going to be unique. It's not an external ID. So I'm going to go ahead and save this. Okay, and then alma mater is there. Now let's go ahead and do the same thing on the contact. Just a nice text field. Alma mater. Name of the university they went to. Same settings here and save. All right, one thing I do wanna double check is that this is on the page layout. So I'm gonna go back over here. I'm gonna go, go to a lead. I'm gonna refresh just so then I know that it's the most up-to-date as possible and see if it's on the page layout. All right, I am not currently seeing it on the page layout. So let's go ahead and go and add that, those fields to the page layout for each of those. All right, I went to page layout. That is one thing about the schema builder that's not always going to be there. So I'm gonna have this roll this down, have this be under title, save. Let's go ahead and double check to make sure that it is now underneath title here. Sometimes it can take a little bit to show up and it is here and you can see we have that. All right, let's go to the contact and do the exact same thing. Add it to the page layout. All right, let's go ahead and put on the monitor underneath title, same place for the contact. All right, and just to be safe, I'm gonna go to a contact and double check. And there we go, we have alma mater. All right, so now that those are in there, the, those fields are created and they're on the page layout, let's go ahead and create the lead mapping. So to do that, we're gonna go back to the lead object and then go to fields and relationships. And then up here, we should be able to map lead fields. And then it'll bring up where we can go ahead and move those over. So currently I have the alma mater 
lead field and I'm going to map that to the alma mater contact field. Hopefully your naming convention should be fairly similar between those two mapped fields. Ideally, it would be the same just for continuity and ease of user experience. But as long as like they know what it's going to be mapped to or that it's fairly self-explanatory, they don't necessarily need to be the same thing. So I am going to hit save. All right, let's go ahead and go and test this sucker out. Go back to home. I'm going to refresh it. Let's go ahead and convert a lead. Input our information. So Eugenia. Let's wait for those details. I'm going to edit the alma mater. I'm going to say University of Washington. Go Huskies. And save. All right, let's go ahead and convert Eugenia. Okay, account, contact, opportunity, and convert. All right, let's go ahead and check on the contact. See if that lead field came over, and yes, it did. So now that she's a contact, we can see her University of Washington alma mater field is filled out automatically. And that is how you go ahead and set your converted lead fields or how you map the converted lead field from one object to the other. If you have any questions, be sure to drop them down below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. Like this video if you found it helpful. Subscribe if you're feeling generous. Check out the Salesforce courses down below or on salesforceupskill.com. You can connect with me on LinkedIn or on Twitter at EmilyCallMBA. And thank you so much and I'll catch you guys in the next one.